Tourism Minister Memamolo Kukuba Ngubani is in the Val area today monitoring tourist spots. The tourism sector optimistic about the reboot under level two of the lockdown with people allowed to now travel between provinces once again. The minister is encouraging South Africans to go out there and explore their beautiful country. And one person that is doing that at the moment is our reporter Kaili Shokumalo who joins me now live. Of course, I spoke to him while he was on a boat a little earlier on. Kaya, where are you now and what have you seen so far? Well, Morena, it's been such a very incredible experience. And, of course, uh, the department is doing this uh, to really encourage people to go out there and explore the beautiful country. So where we are, we're just by the bank of uh, the Val River. We're actually not far from uh, the Emerald Casino right here in Amfuleni. So it's been such a very incredible experience, you know, just seeing how uh, the tour operators are doing. But joining us now as well is the CEO of South African Tourism. So, Mr. Nchona, uh, quite a very extraordinary experience as we are seeing the beautiful country that we have. It's been a long five months, essentially, and I think this is part of the celebration of uh, Level 2 lockdown, being allowed to travel domestically within the country as well, but also more testament to what tourism has to offer. And uh, again, this is part of a process where we are trying to build confidence and trust to all South Africans that they are able to travel and consume tourism in a very safe environment because of the health and safety protocols that have been put in place. And obviously the department now is seized with the recovery plan of trying to make sure that the sector is able to bounce back. How, how are those processes going? Sure. Look, we're not there yet in terms of fully opening up. We're starting off with domestic, then it'll be regional, then ultimately international. But for the focus right now and for the foreseeable future is domestic, right? We understand that within South Africans themselves, there's a lot of pent-up demand. And we are really trying to encourage them that this is the time now to really start to explore your country, get to know it, and really visit those places that uh, are probably not as well known as well. The whole uh, theme being around uh, social distancing and all around uh, protocols as well. So I really want to impose on everybody that says let's celebrate level two but let's be mindful and be cautious that we are still in lockdown level two as well and we just don't want to see the infection rate spike up again and set the country back. And obviously in terms of the observation are, are you pretty satisfied with uh, the measures, you know, the sanitizers and other health protocols in place. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, we are going to be going on a campaign as African Tourism to inform and educate the consumer out there as to what to expect and what to demand. I just want to also plead to be patient. There's, you're going to be writing your name 10 times a day. You're going to have your temperature taken 20 times a day, you know, and that's all part of the process of living with the COVID environment. And again, I think as time moves on, Will get better in terms of getting all of this in place but patience and just an understanding that we're all finding our way through all of this and it's all for the benefit of your health and obviously the employees in the sector as well and, and just before i let you go mr nchana i mean to some of the operators who are struggling you know that they're not sure if they're going to open or or they will just shut down forever is there any form of assistance uh, are you looking at in terms of providing relief uh, to that effect Look, the greatest form of assistance is being able to trade, right? And whilst we're not fully able to trade, we've got to find ways of actually securing what I call the supply side because you don't want to wake up in a couple of months' time opening up all your borders and there's no industry to speak of, right? However, we also understand that the country is a very tight fiscal environment where we're not able to flow as much as we can, but through schemes such as the credit guarantees that have been left through the banks as well, there's an opportunity to provide some form of relief or putting together whilst we're not able to open up fully. But it's about saying take advantage of the level two where domestic tourism is fully operational. It may not be your ultimate objective, but however, it is some form of revenue and activity that we can look at. All right, Mr. Nchona, thank you so much indeed for your time. So the CEO of South African Tourism. So it's been such a very incredible maritime expedition. So, Morena, if you may just give us a bit of space uh, to continue exploring. Oh, please do, Kaya, and I urge South Africans to go out there and not leave you alone to do all of that exploration by yourself. They must go out there and enjoy the sights as you have been as well. That's our reporter, Kaili Shokumalo, uh, 